What do you think might happen if you, as an inexperienced person, went to another country, province, or city and bought a property on a whim? Moving forward with the Decker team. Moving forward together with the Decker team. Hello, this is Ken Decker. And I'm Leah Dixon. And we're excited to be with you and welcome you to another episode of the Inside Track with the Decker team where we share tools, techniques, and thoughts that we all need, we all deserve, you, I, everyone, to turn our house into a home where our families thrive and we live the best life possible. I know in the past when I thought about buying foreign properties, it seemed a little overwhelming. There's so many unknowns. But realistically, you never know when an unknown might come up in your life to put you in a position where you need to start thinking about possibly buying property where you didn't think you would. Hmm. Yeah, a lot of times we get clients that they, they go, oh, I love my hometown, and yet there's this huge opportunity for me to live in another province, another city, or sometimes even another country. And it can be overwhelming with the different little things, the details that you're unfamiliar with. Exactly. There there are things that can come up that we don't even know we needed to ask. Yeah, that's where a great realtor comes in handy. And recently, um, we helped a client who bought a house last year, actually, live in Dubai and are relocating back, repatronizing, I guess they call it, back into Canada. Uh, never lived in Ottawa before, but wanted to kind of buy their retirement home. Um, we helped them find a property. And then this, this spring, he gave me a call and said, next fall, my daughter's moving uh, to go to university in Vancouver. And he said, who do you know? Now, there's a smart man because one of the best things you can do if you've got that position or you know someone that's in that position where they need to move from one city to another is seek the professional they already know and trust. Right. Right? So you've worked with people before. As a matter of fact, you did this recently. You might even not even remember. What did I do? <laughs> well... <laughs> It wasn't about buying a property, but it was, um, and by the way, I really should introduce you because okay. I don't think anybody's heard you on this. Well, they, may, they heard you on the show because you were on the show approximately a year ago. Right. Asking questions about what it would be like to be a real estate agent and what the process was like to become a real estate agent. And you did a double show, you did a two part show. I so did. if you've ever thought of being a realtor, you wanna go back and watch that show on becoming a realtor because Leah Dixon sits in front of us right now, <laughs> licensed to be yes. a real estate agent in Ontario. Yes. Yes, that's got her smiling and beaming. You, sure can't, see that. you can't see that on the radio. <laughs> she's excited to be here. And just before your license came in, your daughter, who was in another city, was struggling with an application for rental. Exactly. And the, t the landlord was doing some things that weren't within the rules or the laws of the Tenant Protection Act. And you called me. Absolutely. And you called me and said, Ken, what do we do? What, what's your <laughs> advice? Because you turn to someone that you know and trust. Yes. And I think the same thing is that now I can't help you. I could, I could help you there because the law in Ontario is the same, right? But if you said to me, oh, I've got a tenant problem in Quebec, I'll go, well, the only thing I can do is refer you to someone in Quebec that has that expertise because I don't know the laws of Quebec. And same with any other province or any other country. I only know the expertise that I have in, in my area. But what I do have expertise at is finding the right person for you in the new location. Well, that's great because I think a lot of times people 
they they feel alone in the process. It's like, okay, I don't know anybody in that city or that country. So now what do I do? Do I go online and Google it and try to find somebody? But going to someone you know and trust locally is perfect. Mm -hmm. And we're going to have um, some other details coming up after the commercial break. And one thing I'd like to talk about now, though, is uh, recently we also had a client who wanted to sell a property in the U.S. And you know the U.S. had some struggles 2008. What's interesting is that market has totally recovered the 2008 crash, which was the highest real estate had ever been. It had gone up like 20% two years in a row, which was crazy. And then it fell. And some markets didn't, but most markets fell to like half price, 50% wow. off sale, right? But now those prices have recovered and <clears throat> I believe every market in the U.S. is higher than it was in the 2008, hmm. which is cool. Yeah. Now, somebody wanted to sell a property and the other thing, the other factor that helped them is that the currency had changed. So one of the factors when you're looking at buying out of country is the currency in which you're buying it in is not Canadian dollars. Mm -hmm. So what the Canadian dollar does affects the value of the property significantly, which is really cool. Mm -hmm. And so sometimes people don't want to buy property when the Canadian dollar is low. Right. Yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> I always say buy your properties in Canada, put your investments in Canada because your Canadian dollar is what you're investing and it's what you're going to be spending in your retirement. Right. Unless, of course, that's different and you want to retire out of country. Mm -hmm. So, Leah, you watched a show recently, I think. I did. There was this, this show, I think it was the Discovery Channel or something like that, where they have real estate agents that help people buy properties in the Caribbean. Ooh. Yes. See, see, that makes me excited. It does. Why? And it I'm was... not even interested in buying a property in the Caribbean right now. <laughs> <laughs> it was very exciting, it, but it opens up a lot of questions, right? Like, mm -hmm. where do you get those answers from? So you can only get so much from a television show, and they're based out of the U.S., so I'm sure a lot of things are different there as well. Right. But, yeah, it, there are so many different questions that came up just from watching oh, that show. Oh, my goodness. Like, how is title held? Um you know, we're we're gonna get into a lot of things in the in the next episode. Like, uh, is the government stable? Can you even buy that particular property? Is it restricted? Yes, I, I didn't realize there were restricted zones in certain countries. Mm -hmm. And are there extra taxes for foreigners? How do I finance it, or can I finance it at all? These are all great questions, and we're gonna answer some of them in the upcoming episode. And as Eleanor Roosevelt says, great minds discuss ideas and average minds discuss events and small minds discuss people. So we love talking about ideas and moving to other countries and all kinds of things. So we're grateful that you are our partner in moving forward as we help you grow wealth in real estate. Moving forward with the Decker team. Moving forward together with the Decker team.